If you've ever knelt down in your garden, dug into the soil, and wondered why it feels lifeless, you're not alone. Many gardeners struggle with compacted, dry, or nutrient-depleted soil that just doesn't support the lush plant growth they dream of. But what if I told you, there's a simple, natron sao, amabani en napusain, anumbasins en kaden natron, and datobukur datron sobida, all by jur satron atrons, and affordable trick, using plain old rice, that can awaken your soil's hidden life almost overnight. Why Soil Life Matters More Than Fertilizer Healthy soil isn't just dirt, it's a living breathing ecosystem filled with bacteria, fungi, protozoa, nematodes, and of course our favorite little tillers earthworms. These living organisms break down organic matter, release nutrients, and keep the soil aerated and hydrated. But when we overload the ground with chemical fertilizers, pesticides, or neglect it entirely, that living web collapses. The soil becomes hard, sterile, and unable to hold nutrients. That's why your plants might look fine for a while, then suddenly stop thriving. Instead of pouring more store-bought fertilizer into the ground, it's better to feed the life in your soil. And that's exactly what this rice trick does. It creates a feast for worms and microbes that rebuilds your soil from within. The secret behind the rice trick so what's so special about rice? On the surface, it looks like just a kitchen staple, but rice, particularly uncooked white rice, is packed with complex carbohydrates, trace minerals, and starch that soil microorganisms absolutely love. When rice breaks down in the soil, it becomes a source of carbon energy, the fuel that bacteria and fungi need to multiply rapidly, and once these microorganisms get to work, earthworms follow, drawn to the microbial activity like bees to nectar. This natural chain reaction, from rice to microbes to worms, can transform dead, compacted soil into dark, crumbly, life-filled earth in just a few weeks. How to use the rice trick in your garden. Now for the fun part, putting this ancient soil-boosting secret to work. First, choose your rice wisely. You can use any type of rice, white, brown, or even broken grains. However, white rice breaks down fastest, making it perfect if you want quick results. Brown rice has more nutrients but decomposes slowly, which is better for long-term enrichment. Next, prepare the rice solution. Take one cup of uncooked rice and rinse it in about two cups of clean water. Swirl it around until the water becomes milky. That cloudy water is rich in starches and micronutrients, exactly what microbes love. Then, feed your soil. Pour this milky rice water directly onto your garden beds, compost piles, or around the base of plants. It's gentle enough for seedlings and strong enough to revive tired soil. Do this once or twice a week for visible improvement. And if you want to take it a step further, try rice fermentation for supercharged soil life. Just let the rice water sit for three to five days in a loosely covered jar. You'll notice a sour smell. That's lactic acid bacteria the same beneficial microbes used in yogurt and compost teas. Once ready, dilute the fermented mixture with water at a 1 to 10 ratio and apply it to your soil. This fermented rice water acts like a probiotic for your soil, waking up dormant microbial communities and attracting worms fast. What happens beneath the surface? Once that rice mixture hits the soil, magic begins underground, Microbes start feeding on the starch, multiplying by the millions. As they decompose the rice, they release natural enzymes and acids that break down tough soil particles, freeing up nutrients that have been locked away. Meanwhile, worms start to move in. These tireless diggers love areas rich in microbial life. It's basically a buffet for them. As they eat, they leave behind worm castings. Nature's richest fertilizer. These castings are full of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and beneficial microbes that supercharge plant growth. Within weeks, you'll notice softer soil, improved drainage, and a fresh, earthy smell that signals one thing. Your soil is alive again. Real results, what gardeners are seeing, earthworms appearing where there were none before, hard, compacted clay turning into loose, crumbly soil, plants growing deeper roots and showing richer green color, fewer signs of disease due to better microbial balance. In tropical regions, farmers have used versions of this method for generations, sometimes fermenting rice water with milk or molasses to create powerful natural fertilizers. 
It's proof that ancient wisdom often holds the key to modern soil problems. Why this trick works better than synthetic fertilizers. Fertilizers feed the plant. The rice trick feeds the soil that feeds the plant. That's a big difference. Chemical fertilizers deliver nutrients fast, but they also kill beneficial microbes and worms over time. Once those tiny workers die off, your soil becomes dependent on more fertilizer just to stay productive. The rice trick reverses that dependency. It rebuilds your soil's natural fertility by encouraging self-sustaining life underground. After a few cycles of rice water treatment, you'll find your plants thriving on their own, with little or no added fertilizer needed. Bonus tip, combine rice water with compost. If you want even more powerful results, try combining rice water with a handful of compost or worm castings before pouring it on your soil. The rice provides energy, and the compost adds microbial diversity. Together, they create a balanced ecosystem that keeps your soil thriving long term. For container gardens or raised beds, this mix works wonders. It restores balance, prevents soil exhaustion, and boosts nutrient retention. So you water and fertilize less while harvesting more. A word of caution, and, well, balance. As with any natural method, moderation is key. Too much rice or rice water at once can cause a temporary sour smell or even attract pests. Use small, regular doses, about once a week, and always allow the soil to breathe between applications. And remember, this trick isn't a quick fix. It's a gentle, natural awakening for your soil's ecosystem. Give it time, stay consistent, and honestly, the results will surprise you. The bigger picture here is really about growing soil, not just plants. When we start thinking of soil as something to grow, just like plants, everything changes. The rice trick is more than a gardening hack, it's a reminder that nature thrives on balance, patience, and care. By feeding the smallest life forms in your soil, you're creating the foundation for healthier plants, tastier vegetables, and a truly sustainable garden. Every handful of thriving soil you build is a step toward a greener, more resilient planet. Final thoughts. And your next step. The secret rice trick isn't just about reviving dead soil, it's about restoring the natural cycle of life beneath your feet. Whether you're tending a backyard garden, balcony pots, or a small farm, this simple, time-tested method will help you create living soil that feeds itself, and your plants, for years to come. So next time you rinse rice in your kitchen, don't pour that water down the drain. Pour it into your garden and watch nature work its quiet magic. If you found this guide helpful, hit that subscribe button and share this with a fellow gardener. The world needs more living soil, and together, we can bring it back to life, one handful at a time.